Tonight's dinner is an easy one, and I mean easy one. It's a good Monday night's dinner. Check this out. So we're having a stir fry. So I've got a couple of chicken breasts, vegetable bean sprout stir fry, got some egg noodles, and some teriyaki sauce. What I'm gonna do is chop the chicken up, uh, add the teriyaki sauce, leave it to marinate in the fridge for about half an hour, and then we'll do the stir fry. Right guys, there we go. So I'm gonna leave that now for about 30 minutes, stick it in the fridge, then we'll do the stir fry. I've left this now for about 30 minutes to marinate. I'm just cooking off the chicken with the teriyaki sauce. Right guys, so I've added the stir fry vegetables. I'm just gonna add some noodles now. Love a bit of noodles. Right, mix that in. That is my chicken teriyaki stir fry for tonight and that looks really nice. Oh look, someone else is looking at that. But you could eat that, Charlie, couldn't you? Yeah, I bet you could. Right guys, I'm gonna eat that now because the time's getting on a bit. This is a nice easy one after work tonight. I've been thinking about this all day long. I've been starving. I phoned up Lucy and I said to her, quick, go to Iceland and get me a chicken booner. So I got a chicken booner from there. That's Charlie drinking water if you wonder what the sound effects are. Got some rice. Uh, I've got a couple of, um, I've got a couple of samosas and barges left. I'm gonna do them as well. And this is what I've been thinking of all day. I've got to have chips with my curry. I've just got to add this craving for chips with curry today. So I've got to do it. Anyway, let me get it all in the oven. Say hi to Charlie quickly. Say hi to everyone, Charlie. Yeah, he's got his teddy bear. He's happy now. You got your teddy bear. I'm gonna get it in the oven and we'll see what it looks like in a little while. Guys. This curry from Iceland for two quid that Lucy went over and got me as she smells and looks half decent. There is my dinner for tonight. So I've got chicken boona with peeler rice, chips or fries, samosas and barges. Look at that, not bad at all. The only thing I'm gonna say guys, this was not a quick meal of the week really. It took 50 minutes. 50 minutes to cook because it was frozen but I suppose it's not too bad. Mmm. For a frozen curry, this is quite half decent. You know, especially if you're in a rush, can't be bothered to make it, or you haven't got much time. That is actually really nice. Mmm. That is lovely, guys. Anyway, I'm going to eat this now, because I'm running behind a bit, and I'll catch you for tomorrow's dinner in the week. Right guys, here's tonight's meal of the week. I keep saying, I'm not gonna have no roast dinners now until Christmas. Definitely, definitely the last one, because I quite fancied this one tonight. Right guys, so tonight I've got runner beans, I've got baby potatoes with herby butter, mmm, very nice. Four pork loin steaks, some carrots to do some fresh carrots, petty pile peas, Nice bit of bisto, beef bisto, and you cannot have pork without your apple sauce. So I'm just gonna cook all this off now and we'll see what it looks like. Dinner is cooked. So I've got two pork chops, runner beans, peas, carrots, baby potatoes in a herby butter. Look at that. Does that look nice or what? Right, and now the finishing touches. You know it makes sense. Oh, yeah. Guys, you've got to have apple sauce with your pork. It's just got to be done. If you've never tried these potatoes from Asda before, these uh, little uh, new potatoes in the herby butter, try them. Because they're nice and quick, save all the messing about, and they taste quite nice too. Mmm. Right, this is guaranteed my last roast-ish dinner until Christmas now and then it'll be turkey so I'm going to eat this now guys and I'll catch you for tomorrow's quick meals of the week I finished seriously late tonight I'd stayed behind with Ernie and interview a new driver so I thought something quick grabbed a French stick grabbed some bacon I thought hmm I've got some eggs at home so I'll have an egg bacon French stick get home my eggs are gone. Somebody has broken the house and nicked my eggs. And I know where the eggs are gone. 
up there them two girls they've nicked me eggs so now look what I've got so I've got a cheese topped I'll just grab that that was the only ones he had left cheese topped French stick 68p got a pack of bacon essential shopping a bit of uh, fosters because I need it after a late day and now I'm gonna have to do it with baked beans it's gonna have to be bacon French stick with some baked beans in it now my eggs are gone and by the way I've just been reading my comments from my food vlog and Wendy saying I couldn't have had the flu because I wouldn't be standing or eating Wendy obviously you've never heard of man flu look it up anyway guys let me get cracking on this just a quick update I'm blaming the girls for eating my eggs and guess what they would only put them on top of the cupboard I found them so we're gonna have bacon eggs do you know what I'm still fancy to see a bit of baked beans in it now I thought about it let's go for that as well why not I've got to say guys, this actually looks quite good. This literally took me about five, six minutes to rustle up. So that is definitely a Gary's quick dinner in the week. Check this out. Look at that. So we've got loads of bacon, baked beans, an egg. Oh yes, oh yes. Nice runny egg, love it. That is a proper cafe breakfast roll. And at the same time, I'm cooking more bacon because I've got two French sticks. So I'm going to take one in for lunch. Right, here we go then, guys. I'm just about to have me quick dinner tonight. There's what I've done for tomorrow. Look at that bacon loaded. And I tell you what, that saved me five quid tomorrow at the calf. What a result. I tell you what, guys, by the time I have a bath, it's going to be bedtime. I'm just laying in bed and chill out, watch a bit of Netflix. But this looks oh ho ho let's get it in focus first look at that that is actually quite nice mmm love the cheese top bread it's lovely guys and I've got it all over my mouth I don't care because you can't not have egg and bean french stick and not get it all over yourself or down your t-shirt anyway guys I'm gonna Eat this quickly, go and have me bath, chill out, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. It's my last meal of the week, and this one is a good one. Check this out. So tonight, I've got some nice couple of bits of gammon, or ham, whatever you want to call it. I've got some crinkle cut chips, Mediterranean salad, Heinz baked beans, eggs, and a fresh pineapple. So let's get all that going and we'll see what it's like. Everything's cooking away nicely guys. Chips are in the oven. There's been a little bit of Mediterranean salad. I've got pineapple already. So hopefully not too long now. There's tonight's dinner. I gave up, I'm not putting beans on because there's nowhere to put them. So I've got me chips which are seasoned with sea salt, ground black pepper and paprika before I put them in the oven and they taste yummy nice little bit of Mediterranean salad there some fresh pineapple me gammon steak and a fried egg on top look at that that looks well yummy just got to get my English mustard out now and that'll be nice been looking forward to this all day I tell you what those gammon steaks are lovely I get them from Asda you get a pack of two uh, for four pound but look at that mine's got mustard on it but they are lovely, nice and thick as well. Mm. Gorgeous. And the chips with the paprika, sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper are ugh, there to die for, guys. Mmm, lovely. That is my meals, quick meals of the week. When I'm at work, what I quickly knock up, Monday to Friday. I will be doing one again next week and uh, watch out for the vlog at the weekend guys. We are going to Canterbury because as you know, I work in Canterbury and one of the garden centers today, I've just found some lovely fresh Christmas trees. And these are these non-dropping pine, or so they say. So we're all going over there on Saturday to go and grab one and then get it up Saturday night in the house. So I'll catch you at the weekend. Bye.